what do you make of all the uncertainty and how does it affect the, the, the capital deployment decisions that you make in this part of the world? Thank you for having me this morning. Uh, as a pension asset manager, we are a long-term investor. So when we look at our investment strategies, we oftentimes set it into seven and eight years uh, directionally. So our investment strategy we've been focusing on for the last couple of years in three areas, largely, I can say. First one is increasing our investments in emerging markets, uh, large emerging markets. That is because of the growing economy in that market, providing diversification uh, opportunities for large global investors like us and also relatively higher inefficiencies providing alpha generation opportunities. Second area that we've been focusing on is really a um, long-term theme of innovation. So we've been focusing on looking at consumer internets, whether that is um, e-commerce or telehealth or uh, financial services technology, fintechs and all of those areas. And third area that I wanna mention is the sustainability theme. We have firm belief that companies that are focusing on sustainability and ESG are positioned to generate a higher value over the long term. So we've been focusing areas like energy transition uh, through renewable energy investments or energy transition related technologies. Will you continue ongoing investment when it comes to Chinese tech? What will you do with your stake in Ant? Uh, We've been investing in Chinese technology companies uh, for last decades plus uh, with our long-term strategy that I mentioned. Uh, China market is a large market. Domestic consumption has been our key focus. It is not only technology companies. With that um, uh, new economies coming up, there are many ways that global multi-asset investors like us can play. For example, the e-commerce is supported by modern logistics uh, facilities. And we've been a large investor in industrial warehouses in China for more than a decade as well. What about Ant? Do you think Ant will go to IPO? Would you continue to invest? I'm curious about the sorts of interactions that you've had. Um, FinTech is another area that we saw as part of the innovation theme that will continue to grow globally, including China market as well. We invested into the company um, as, as part of that investment thesis, I don't want to comment on the specific companies, but our investment theme uh, continue to hold. So broadly, how much exposure does the pension plan have to China private companies or China uh, in general as of now? Um, we are quite unique in a sense that very large proportion of our investments are in uh, private illiquid uh, investments. It's more than half of our total portfolio. And our Asia portfolio and China portfolio largely mirrors that as well. Are you factoring in the potential decoupling between the U.S. and China right now? How is that reflected in your portfolio? I would say that uh, political risk has been one of the areas that we've been paying a lot of attention. And, and it's squarely part of our investment decision making process and diligence process as well. I would say that the uh, silver lining on that is, is the decoupling is having high or lower correlation, providing us higher diversification benefits uh, as a global investor. We have just broken right now the latest uh, restrictions in South Korea, given the uncertainty over the virus outbreak. I know that you're a long term investor, but is this something that you need to consider when you're investing in some of these countries that you thought had reigned in the pandemic? That's a great point. I think how the uh, countries are getting out of this pandemic, how the economy is reopening, how the co uh, countries are dealing with um, the virus has been one of the areas that we're focusing on. You're seeing uh, divergence uh, amongst uh, the countries around the world, how they're looking at opening up their uh, economies and how they are rolling out their vaccine. In addition to the, how they're opening the borders, and then we do think that that will have impact, uh, immediate impact to the cons consumptions, as well as it could have a longer term impact as well. It's a key area that we're focusing on as well. So how are you hedging for a potential long term impact? I think the biggest uh, risk mitigants for us is diversification. Uh, and we are investing in 50 plus countries around the world. We're investing both in emerging markets and developed markets. We're investing across different asset classes and different currency exposures as well. 
So we have gone through for the last 10 years two uh, big crises. Uh, you could say it's a global financial crisis and this pandemic that we're still going through. And then we have seen our portfolio holding up really mm. well. So I think that diversification strategy has been working out well for us.